Linus, Linus, you're our case. We don't want your toxic waste. Hey, sir, are you here for the long Linus, Linus, you must go. Linus, Linus, you must go. The people of Malaysia have said no. Have you thought about what your smartphone, iPad or laptop is made of? And where the materials come from? Have you heard of Linus Corporation? It's not polluted. It's not polluted. No, it's not polluted. It's an Australian mining company that mines rare earth minerals which make up parts of electronic equipment. It mines at Western Australia and transports the rare earth minerals to Malaysia. They're going to make a lot of money for you. Employ a lot of people. Sure. Yeah. So why are you complaining for that? In Malaysia, the corporation has set up a rare earth processing factory two kilometers from where 30,000 people live and 25 kilometers from Kuantan, a city of 700,000 people. They are making profit at the expense of someone else's children. So I would like to appeal on behalf of the mothers in Kuantan, my community, to please stop this unethical and inhumane act. Linus Corporation's rare earth refinery poses some serious environmental threats to the Malaysians living around it in Kuantan. The plant uses 720 tonnes of concentrated hydrochloric acid per day. The processing of rare earth also results in radioactive thorium as a byproduct. Thorium has a half-life of more than 10 billion years. It's extremely toxic. The toxic waste is discharged into the local river, which empties into the South China Sea, which provides fisher people with their livelihood and local populations with their food. This is the river mouth of the Balok River. This is here where Linus will be dumping its wastewater, 500 tons an hour. There is no permanent safe storage area that has been built for the plant. Most recently, there have been severe floods, so there's a worry about whether radioactive waste could be leaking into the river. There's a risk with that facility that really should not be borne by the people of Kuantan. But Malaysians are fighting back. 1.2 million Malaysians have put signature behind the petition against Linus. You understand that this is an unlawful protest? Thousands of people have taken to the streets to protest to have the refinery shut down. Delegations of Malaysians have made the journey to Australia to protest the refinery. What I'm saying is it's dangerous. In December 2013, six Malaysians occupied the head office of the Linus Corporation at the time of their AGM. Excuse me, sir, are you here for Linus meeting? This is an Australian company that is having its annual general meeting at the moment. And this company, Linus, it's constantly avoided the type of scrutiny that in Australia they would be exposed to, and that's why we're here. This facility would not be allowed in this location and with this technology in Australia. So why should it be okay for Malaysians? They're dumping their toxic waste on a developing country. They haven't really got the consent of the local community. Stop, Linus! Stop, Linus! Stop, Linus! Stop, Linus! Stop, Linus! Stop, Linus! We need to hold this company accountable. We will not let our children suffer by June 29 next year. If they cannot deal with their toxic waste, the people will come to the street. We will shut them down. That is the deadline for Linus, June 29. Save Malaysia, stop Linus. Join in the protest, sign the petition, join the Facebook group, form a protest group, write letters to your politicians together we can stop this dangerous refinery the people of malaysia have said